Welcome guys to the Crazy Hands Knitting and Crocheting channel and in this video tutorial we are going to learn how to knit two needles slippers and that's how they look. I am just in love with these uh, slippers. You can decorate them by... Uh, I have just a crochet flowers uh, and I'm going to make a short video tutorial of how to make a bow, knit bow. Here is the leaf uh, and all these uh, patterns you can find on my uh, on my channel as well before. Uh, but I like them even without decoration because they look gorgeous. So regarding materials that I was using, you will need uh, two pairs of double pointed knitting needles, uh, three millimeters. Uh, you can use also circular needles, doesn't matter. Uh, and the yarn, I had uh, leftovers of, of uh, bamboo if yarn. It is medium worsted weight yarn, as you see, number four. And also for the white yarn I was using current simply soft yarn, same medium worsted weight yarn. So if you're going to use different um, yarn from different brands so check that they are similar have the same thickness and if possible the same weight because sometimes you can use even uh, double knitting yarn and they have the thickness similar to worsted weight yarn so just check that they are more or less similar so if you are ready then let's get started Using long tail cast on method, uh, cast on 18 stitches. And I didn't say about the size. The size that I'm going to need today is uh, uh, US size 7 or 7.5 seven will also be fine. Uh, if you want, if you think that you have a wide fit, then now I cast on 18 stitches, uh, but you can cast on 20 stitches. Regarding the foot length uh, and how long you have to knit, uh, I will show you everything further in the video. So let's count one extra. So 18 stitches. And let's start knitting. Slip the first stitch. And knit 16 and end the end, curl the last stitch. We are going to curl, always slip the first stitch and always curl the last stitch. If only we are not changing the color, and I will show you what, what I mean. So we need 16 and curl the last stitch. Turn. Repeat the same row. Slip the first stitch. And knit 16. If you cast on 20 stitches, then you slip the first stitch, knit 18. And curl the last stitch. And curl. And now it's time to join the next color. And only when you join the next color, you do not slip the first stitch, you are going to knit it only when you join. So knit the first stitch, knit the salvage stitch and knit 12 more stitches. So in total knit 13. You see at the end five stitches. Now print the working yarn in front, 
sleep the next each turn and rub the yarn by returning the slip stitch back and bring the working yarn back now. So we rub the last stitch and repeat knit 12 And go the last stitch. And that, that's what we have now. Now pick up the pink color again. We are changing the color again. It means we are going to knit the first stitch. And knit all other stitches till the end. I wanted to add you that in order to make the slippers look symmetrically, here you started the slipper with pink color. The next slipper you are going to start with white color and when instead of white color you join pink color. I hope it's clear. So this one you start with pink color. The next slipper you're going to start the same, absolutely the same with white color. So now you need till the end again and go. Just knit first and then back. And now again you need to pick up the white tail, so you never cut tails. Pick up the white tail and start knitting, knit 13 and you need the first stitch. Knit 13 or knit 15 in case you are knitting another size five stitches left bring the working yarn in front slip the next stitch then turn and slip back stitch and bring the working yarn in back again and go on knitting till the end that is what we usually do in when we are knitting short rows. And draw the last stitch. And that's it. Now you pick up again the pink color and knit all stitches till the end. Then on the wrong side again, just knitting them and after that pick up the white tail and knit again only 13 stitches. And like this go on alternate these two colors until the slipper reaches 22 centimeters and I will show you how to measure it. That's what I have and if you count my pink garter stitch rods, uh, I have uh, 19. And how you have to measure from one corner to another corner. Why 22 centimeters? Why not 24 if I am knitting the size US number 7 and 7.5? Uh, it, it is because we have to knit at least 10 cm less to make them fit perfectly. And now you pick up the white color and the 
white color will be the main color now. So we are going to knit all stitches till the end. That's how you would start your next slipper. Till the end and purl the last stitch. Turn and repeat the row again. Knit all stitches. And pull the last stitch. And now pick up pink color. And knit 13 stitches. So basically everything what we did before, just we switched colors. Count 5 stitches left, bring the working yarn in front, slip the next stitch, turn, drop the stitch and return it. Knit 12. And throw the last stitch. Now again pick up white color. You see white color is going to be the main color now. Knit the first stitch and knit all other stitches till the last one. Curl the last stitch. White color is the main color. Turn, slip the first stitch. And knit all other stitches till the end. Throw the last stitch. Turn. And now pick up pink color. And knit 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 5 stitches in front. Bring the working yarn in front and slip the next stitch. Then turn and return the stitch. Now knit 12. And throw the last stitch. And that's it. So go on in the same way. Now pick up white color. And then pick up 
pin color and knit only 13 stitches. Go on knitting the same number of garter stitch rows or 22 centimeters. Now we are, when we are done every seam, that's what you have. From one side you have the main color pink and from another side white. And we are going to bind off all stitches. I'm going to use traditional bind off method. Slip the first stitch, knit the next one and slip the first stitch over the second one. Again, knit one and slip over. Knit one and slip over. Knit one, slip over. Let's do one more time. Knit one, slip over. Please finish binding off. At the end, curl the last stitch and slip over. So now make a knot and you can cut the pink color and you will need to leave a long tail so like this make a knot and pull the yarn until you have at least uh, one meter because you will need this tail to join these two edges and also the bottom part a long tail. One meter is enough. Now take a yard needle or tapestry needle, thread the tail. And we are going to sew everything on the right side. Place all tails inside the sock. We will weave in ends later. And now you have to find these stitches. This one, that's how we are going to insert the needle. This one, this one, this one, we stitch on this side and we stitch on this side. There a little bit, so here is the, the side where we bind off and if you dig a little bit inside, you will find we stitch. This one. You need to dig a little bit here, we stitch and also here. So first let's join two sides. So pick up the first V stitch. and pull the yarn underneath and let's get started so here is the next V stitch and here is the second one just pull the yarn underneath on one side and then on another side from right to left Here is the next one and again look for the right V stitch. The next one do not skip. Here 
and here. Like this, go on sewing the heel till the end and do not cut the yarn. So, and that's how the seam look. Really beautiful one, invisible. And I promise you will not feel it when you're going to wear the slippers. So now let's join the bottom part. Again, put all tails inside the slipper. And that's what we are going to do. So you see pink color, white color, pink color, white color, pink color. And now I'm going to insert the needle into the white color and go out of the pink color on one side and on the on another side insert into the pink insert into the white and go out of the pink and now insert into the pink where you went out before and go out of the white the same find the stitch where you went out before insert and go go out into the next color so it means you insert the needle twice in one stitch in one color into the white out of the pink so pink was the last one and into the pink out of the white and now into the pink out of the white and into the white out of the pink And that's how it looks. Just go on till the end and at the end stop before you have 10 stitches or 10 rods of uh, different colors. Here. Like this, you have to stop here. Uh, and I, I will show you what we are going to do. So here is how the slipper look now. And the seam. So what we are going to do with last stitches and why we are doing it. We are going to slip all stitches. Uh, something that looks like when we are knitting the hat. And make that whole part uh, flat. And not. And when you, when you wear it, it will be more com comfortable. So just insert needle in one color and go out of the other color all the way around into the pink out of the white then again into the pink out of the white and here into the pink and out of the white and now pull and close the hole now join this round just make a couple of more stitches to to close the hole One more time. And at the end you can make a knot.
pull the tail on the one side, make a knot and weave in and. Do not weave into the main seam, just on one side or on another side. And then cut the yarn. You can make it even further. And at the end, make a knot. That's it. Then cut the yarn. Weave in all ends, and that's basically it. But let me show you what you can do. As well. Let's put it on. That's how it looks. And if you think that the front part is a little bit wide for you here, here. if you think that it's too wide, what I suggest you doing is just to join a little bit uh, two edges in front. Like this you will make the hole smaller and it will, it will fit your feet even better. So now you need a tail, just take any color, white or pink, doesn't matter, thread the tail. And starting from the wrong side, just insert the needle and leave tail like this. Later you will weave it in. And pay attention how I'm going to insert the needle now. You're going to work only with stitches that are at the end of the main color rows. So you need to find, first of all, you see the Salvage stitches and the next reach after the salvage stitch, this one, you insert the needle from right to left. Now turn to the to another side, find the next reach but on the white side. And insert the needle from left to right. Now find the reach here the, after the salvage stitch and insert needle from right to the left. Now find the reach here and insert from left to right. Next reach, this one, next reach from this side. Let's let's do one more, but you can correlate as many stitches as you need. From right to left and this one here's the next one from left to right and pull. 
and that's how it looks. Now only make make a knot, but on the wrong side. Pull the tail and make make a knot. And weave in ends at the same time and don't forget to weave this tail as well. So that's it. Let's look one more time. And as I said at the beginning, you can decorate these sleepers with crochet flowers, with crochet leaves, for example, like this. But even without decoration, it looks perfect. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial with me. Please don't forget to like this video. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. And if you're looking for more to needle socks you can find other video tutorials on my youtube channel i wish you happy holidays and happy new year